What's up, you guys? Are you ready to take on Crystal Snail? Because we're gonna have one shell of a time. Now, basically, what you wanna do is have your magnet mine ready, because that's the weakness of Crystal Snail. And he's trying to hypnotize me here now, I don't know why. So, so basically, he just pops out, he starts roaring at me. That's what it looks like. Snails don't roar. Cats don't dance. But anyways, you just want to hit him, he's gonna pop out, he's gonna hit the wall, he's gonna try to go back. And you can also hit him on the way back, so that's very good. You can pretty much add another point of damage. So yeah. And whenever he gets into mid-air like that, that pretty much always means, or most of the time, it means that he's slowing down the flow of time. So that's not lag, that's Crystal Snail slowing down the flow of time. And then this attack where he shoots out Crystal Bubbles is extremely annoying too, because he just freezes you. And you just have to sit there like an asshole, like a dumbass, just sitting there waiting for him to hit you so you can get out of the crystal snow thing or whatever it's called. Or <laughs> crystal snow, seriously, man. But, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the only strategy against this guy. Just hit him, jump over him, let him take the damage on the wall, try to hit him on the way back, and that's pretty much it. See, that, like that. And you can also try to hit him before he tries to go into his shell because that can really help a lot. So that takes care of Crystal Snail, and that takes care of our last Maverick. Let's listen to this awesome music. Shing! Alright. So now that we have defeated Crystal Snail, we get his weapon, which is named... Crystal Hunter. Wow. It's just a bubble that's in, I don't know why they call it Hunter. Here's Dr. Kane. I'm sorry, X. One of the X-Hunters attacked the base and took all of Zero's parts away. Holy shit, no way. They are going to rebuild Zero at their base. Well, they better not. I tracked them to location 00, the North Pole. I can't let them tamper with him, Dr. Kane. Yeah, you tell him. I've got to save him. That you will do, Mega Man, but not yet. First of all, before we go to the Sigma stages, we have one last little thing to do in Morph Moth stage. Before I forget, so I better do this right now. Ugh, oh, because you guys know how much I forget things. Not, well, not that I have a memory problem or anything, but usually when I'm on vacation and I come back to LP, I tend to forget things. But anyways, what you want to do is get your Crystal Hunter out and just freeze this guy right here and it basically turns him into a platform. So now you can just sell it to your wife and she'll be happy. Nah, I'm just kidding. You'll find an, a 1-up up here and a heart tank. So that pretty much just concludes all of the heart tanks in the game. So we're happy now. Okay, so, now that we have our heart tank, we can continue on to the Sigma stage, or the x stage. And this stage really is not that bad. For the first x stage, it's truly not that bad. It's just kind of long and just very long. <laughs> and there are some parts in the stage where it's like, oh my god, my life flashed before my eyes. But really, it's not that bad. And of course, you don't want to fall down in those spikes because it'll lead to your death. You know, kind of like when Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat fighters just fall into the spikes like in that game. <laughs> I forget which one it was. Was it the first one? I don't even remember. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much what this stage can consist of. Enclosed walls. Or walls enclosing on you. And of course, you just want to get out of it as fast as you can because that's going to be bad if you get plastered. Instant game over. So yeah. Oh man, these scorpion guys are so annoying. Just want to take him down with one wheel gator hit. Just mow him down. Yeah, just like that. Oh, there's another one of you up here? Jeez. You know, when they break up like that, they kind of look like Legos. I don't know. That's my opinion, at least. They look like a bunch of Le little Lego pieces. Okay, so. Oh, man, this part. I hate this part. Oh, we're getting close to a part that I really despise. I really hate. I don't want to go to it. I'm really not looking forward to it. But it's going to have to happen. We're gonna have to do it one way or another, but we have to do it. It's up here, I think. Yes, it's right here. Now, up here is another enclosed wall area, but it is a little more difficult. You have to go up here to the left, and once you get here, you jump to the right, 
I just keep going up until you get up here, see? You can really get thrown off by that, because first you might go on the right, and then you're like, oh no, I have to go to the left, and then you have to go to the right again. It's very confusing. And very, very tedious. I remember on practice, I just died there all the time, and I never would get to this part. But, we are here at the boss. Who could it be? Holy shit! Who is this, King Kong? Jeez! What the hell? Okay, so this is Violin. He is one of the X-Hunters, and you definitely wanna be careful with this guy. He is no pushover. This maze right here is the most deadly weapon in the game, I believe. Because if you get hit by it, I don't know, I'm not sure how look at that. It's like four pixels of damage you take from each hit. So that's very, very dangerous, and you wanna be careful and just keep shooting bubbles at this guy, because that's his weakness, so... <laughs> oh yeah, armpit shot! That's what it looked like. What? How could he have overloaded my circuit? Arg. Yeah, I know, I did a pirate arg thing, that was so stupid. What a dumbass. I'm such a dumbass. That was so stupid. Okay, so that takes care of Violin. And our first Sigma stage. Uh, it's actually not that long, now that I think about it. I think it's the second one that's long. I don't even know, man. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Let's see, do I have time for another one? Yes, I do! Very good. Let's go to this right now. Second stage. Which is actually not my favorite. I really hate this stage because, first of all, you'll see why. It's freaking underwater! Most of it is. Ugh. I really... Oh, Paul. First of all, I, I'm not a big fan of underwater stages, but, you know, it, it's... I don't know. It's something about underwater stages that really just makes me, like... You know, ugh. These stages are always the hardest. I don't know why. You know, like, Water Temple and Ocarina of Time, usually everybody thinks like that's, like, the hardest temple ever in Zelda games, but... Ugh. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Something about water places and games and... It just, like, oh my god, what, what are we up against here, you know? But anyways, that's pretty much what this stage consists of, just underwater stuff, jumping. And this crap right here where you have these floating platforms, which is very annoying because you got spikes below, and that's not good. Holy crap, that guy almost hit me. Let's jump down here, and there we go. Now I gotta basically do the same thing here. I say basically too much, I don't know. <laughs> so basically what you have to do is this, but then you basically do that, and basically do this. I seriously have to stop that, I don't know. Okay, so here, this can be a little tricky, because what you have to do is get on this, and then just go over it, and try to go on the other side as fast as possible. If not, maybe you can just go in midair and do a little midair, I forget what it's called, uh... A meteor dash, there we go. <laughs> and I, you might make it without having to come on the other side, but I've never tried that, and I'm not gonna risk it. Now here you have to wait for the other platform to come down, and just pretty much wait here, because you have no other way to go up. Okay, any day now, come on. Any day, there we go. Thank you. So now we just pretty much... <laughs> I really don't mind getting hit by these fire things, these flamethrowers. Because I'm not going to go through the trouble of just jumping around this platform and trying to avoid everything, because it's very annoying. Man, basically what you have to do here, see, there we go, I said basically again. What you have to do here is try to get these bats to turn into platforms with the crystal thing, but ugh, it's very hard because this guy's chasing me all over the place. Holy crap. I've messed up here. Well, maybe I didn't, I don't know. Oh, shoot. Dude, why did you explode? I did not tell you to explode. Can I make this? Oh, Shit. Oh my god, guys. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna cut to where I was. Dang it. Okay, so here we are. Trying to attempt this again. This is my second try. Yes, there we go. That's how you do it. I don't know what there is here. I think there's a... Is this the place where you get the shore you can? Is it? Oh wait, no, it's just an extra life. Um, yeah, it is an extra life. Um, I remember now, I remember. So yeah, I'll continue this next time for the boss.